guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be unboxing the June 2017 Sports Crate. So the theme for this month is Behind the Dish. So I'm assuming that has to do with the catcher. Really awesome. I'm excited. They said there was going to be some kind of grilling related item. Of course, there's going to be, going to be a figure and some kind of wearable. And I'm assuming the trading card as well, like last month's box. So super excited, not sure what to expect, but um, I'm going to put all the information down below. You can check it out yourself. This is the second box, and there's only five boxes a year for this box. It goes through um, baseball season, so May to September. So you only get five boxes. I'm going to put all the pricing and the link down below. You can check it out yourself. I just signed up for the Major League Pass. I'm going to get all five boxes and you can pick what team you want. Right now they only have 10 MLB teams. Um, I chose the Yankees because that's my team and, you know, born and raised in the Bronx. Gotta love my Bronx Bombers, as I said before. So let's get into this box. I'm excited to see what's in it. Um, I'm wearing the shirt from last month's box and it's really nice, really soft. I'm excited. So now that we open that up, let's check out what's in the box. I love the box. Even the box has the sticker that the box is MLB licensed. That's ridiculous. It's just crazy. So let's open it up. You guys get to see first. Bam. Woo. All right. So again, the box is in the colors of the team and it has the diamonds. You know, there we go. That's the field. And right up top we have... Oh, here's the grilling item. Okay, so it's a mitt, a grilling mitt. This is really cute. Oh, it, it, it's like a catcher's mitt. That's so cute. That makes total sense. Really cool. Oh, it looks like it's a little catcher's mitt. It's even like sewn like a catcher's mitt. Like the way the thumb is, really cute. Look at that. That's so cool. And you could do both sides. There we go. That, that's the proper way. I was putting it on the wrong hand. But yeah, it would be this hand. That is so cool. It has the Yankee logo. And yeah, I hope this is not like other oven mitts I've received that they're not actually safe <laughs> to use with hot items. Uh, there was that uh, one time that Loot Crate sent out that oven mitt that got recalled because it wasn't safe. So let's hope this is better quality. It feels really nice. I love the way it looks. And it has a little hanger right here. You can hang it up. Really cute. Like that item. All right, we have the figure. Okay, so this is another Ballers figure. And we got Gary Sanchez, collectible figure. Right there, the box. Yep, he got his little catcher's outfit. Let's open it up and see him up close. Okay, so I have him out of the packaging. And I must say, the, the quality of this figure does not match the original figure that we got last month. Um, his As soon as I took him out of the packaging, his arm fell off. I managed to snap it back in, but it's not, it's not very tight. And immediately, it, his middle does not snap into place. And it, look, bam, it just comes out right away. And it doesn't snap back in. It's very, it, it leaves a gap. It's like the peg. Look how tiny that peg is. It doesn't go in all the way. It's really small. Let me let me get it closer so you guys can see. All right, so you can see right there, that's the peg that it's supposed to go and hold this together. I push it in. It does not snap in. And I'm trying really hard. It just barely goes in. And then it, it just falls off. So I don't know. Maybe I'm not pushing hard enough. I'll, I don't know. I really don't feel like hurting myself to get it in there. I'll, pro I'll probably just ask my husband to try to force it in there and see. But yeah, he, you know, it's the same as the, as our, the previous figure. Um, but, you know, he has the, the, the catcher's mask. Sorry if it was out of focus. He has the catcher's mask on and that you can remove. And then you see his face. He's got a backward Yankee hat on. It has the logo. It's very detailed. I don't, I don't know if I like, like these figures have really weird big heads, which is kind of odd. You know, they're very poseable, but you know, he has a little ball in his hand so you can position him, you know, like probably crouch him down. See, that's, the, here we go. Look, 
the middle just came off. The middle just popped off like nothing. See? It's like, you know, you can't even like, and it's strange. Like he has an ab crunch, but how are you supposed to even like put him to squat if, if he just, his middle just pops off? Like you can't even squat him down. That's very strange if for a catcher. Anyway, I don't know. I, maybe I have to push harder. There's a very slight ab crunch, but it doesn't really do anything. It, it, he twists a little at the right there. I don't know. There should be an ab crunch. I would think there would be, being that he is a catcher. Like, you'd want to be able to crouch him down. I don't know. I'd, I have to mess around with the figure. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really disappointed. I'm really disappointed in this, in this figure, this baller's. You know, you would think the, the quality would stay consistent. I remember messing around with the previous boxes figure, and, you know, I was moving them around, everything, and nothing came off. It was pretty solid. This one, the arm popped off. Oh, there we go. Look, barely moved it, and the arm popped off. The, the, the joints don't don't snap in. Look, 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 this is, this is, like, worn out. I don't know. I don't like the figure at all. I'm very disappointed. Um, I might send an email. Uh, to Sports Crate and find out if maybe I can get a replacement because I think I have a faulty figure. Uh, though that joint comes off way too easily, and then the midsection, it's it, you can't even push it in. It's it's like too short. It's too short and it doesn't it won't stay on. I don't know. I'm gonna mess around with it, but that arm definitely is just popping off with barely any tugging. So you know, it, I don't know if it's defective or what. I'm not liking that. Uh, next item. This one is wrapped in bubble wrap, and it feels heavy. Oh, it looks like shot glasses. Okay. So, yep, that's what it is. Yankee shot glasses, sports crate logo, and Yankee logo. It says, at your behind-the-dish party, you can use these novelty glasses in a variety of ways. They can hold your appetizer toothpicks, your dipping sauces, or you can use them to drink from. Whichever option you choose, just remember that no matter how far ahead or behind the Yankees are in their division, they still have a shot to win. I like that. That's cute. <laughs> Toothpick holders. Yeah, they're just shot glasses. You know, do shots of alcohol, people. Yes. Awesome. It has the Yankee logo and the Sports Crate logo. Very cool. And they are glass. I like that. I don't like when they give... Uh, um, drinkware or, you know, anything like that. And it's plastic generally, you know, I'm like, yeah, mugs and all that ceramic, that's fine. But anything alcohol related, like shot glasses, uh, I don't want plastic. You want glass. So this is awesome. It was well packaged and obviously came in one piece. So that's really good. I like that. Good item. Okay. Then we have, we have the trading card, Gary Sanchez again. So we got one of these in the last one. There you go. There's a close-up of the card. And these are exclusive to the sports crate. So there's going to be five Yankee cards, Yankee players. Okay, next item. This is a bottle opener. All right, so we're gearing up for some serious uh, partying over here. We got a... Uh, Shot glasses, we got a, you know, barbecuing, grill, you know, grill glove, and now we have a bottle opener. Ooh, two bottle openers, what? Oh, bottle opener and coaster, what the? Oh my god, yeah, there's two of them, and you can use it for both. So, there we go, identical items. The other side has the Sports Crate logo, and this is the side that it's kind of like that foamy kind of part. This is the coaster side. So you can put this down after you open your bottle, and it is going to hold your beer right there. Very cool. I like this item. This is very unique, multi-purpose item. It's home plate, which is where the catcher, he, stand, he, he stands behind home plate. All right. Home plate is the beginning and ending destination for a Yankees player. At your behind-the-dish party, the home opener works in a very similar fashion. It can be used as a starting point for your beverage, and it can be used as a resting point until the end. Score a run for the Yankees every time you use it. 
Really cool. I like this item, and I like that there's two of them. So that makes sense because who wants to drink alone? You got to have one for your friend. Okay, next item. Yep, this is the last item in the box, and it is our wearable. It looks like another shirt, maybe. Let's see. I'm excited. I love the one I got already, so... Uh-oh. No, it's not. It is something else. Whoa, what is this? What the heck? Oh, wow. Okay, so we got a, we got a banner here. We got a banner. Really cool. Check that out. Home stand. Yes, New York Yankees. You can hang this in at your party. Get your Yankee party on, decorating. Oh my God. This is so cool. I love it. It's really thick with it. This is an outdoor banner, definitely to hang up maybe in your backyard for the party. Awesome to decorate with. Really cool. I love this box, except for the figure. This figure was a fail. Huge, huge disappointment. I'm really upset about it because I like it. Like, I like the previous figure, even though it's a weird shape with the big head and all. But, you know, whatever. They're, that's the way the line looks. So that's fine. They're all going to look like that. That's the stylized version. But this guy is just falling apart. Falling apart. Like, ridiculous. I can't. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it just pops right back off. I can't get his midsection to stay on for the life of me. Maybe I have to push harder. I'm just really disappointed. I'm really disappointed because how am I supposed to pose him? He comes with a stand. Really cute. It has the little diamond there. So it's, you know, home base. You can position him behind it. That's where the pegs are. So you can supposedly, I'm assuming, put him down crouching like he's getting ready to catch. But how can he crouch when... He breaks. You guys saw. You guys saw exactly what was going on. And it's just so disappointing. I love that his mask comes off. Like he has like an accessory. That's really cool. I love the detail on his base. Like that it's, it's home plate. And of course, you know, the figure that I'm, uh, you know, I'm excited about ends up being faulty. Like this is really disappointing that it won't stay in. Like, it won't even go in all the way. Like, it doesn't click. It doesn't click, you know, click in. I don't know why. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't even work. Like, it barely stays in. Anyway, everything else was awesome. I love that they stuck to a theme. You know, um, party. Basically, like, backyard barbecue. We have shot glasses. We have two coasters. One for you and a guest. Um, and also bottle openers. So you can open your drink and keep it, you know, nice and not uh, wetting up a table. And then we have the grilling glove, you know. We got our little mitten here. So you can uh, make sure you don't burn yourself while you're getting all those uh, delicious food, burgers, and uh, hot dogs off the grill. Yeah, I really like it. And the card, you know, that was something that we're supposed to get every month because we're going to get the five players. That's cool. Everything was great. I love the box. The banner, totally different. I love it. You know, I, I'm I'm excited about it. And then this figure. Yeah. Yeah, I got, look at this. You can see right there, I pushed with all my might. And look, it won't go in the middle. The midsection, he's just barely hanging on there. If I try to move him, his, he's going to break in half completely. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to email Sports Crate and see if they maybe could send me a new one because this one is definitely faulty or defective. I don't know. I'm not sure if they will. You know, it's kind of disappointing. And the detail's so great. Like, he even has dirt. Like, he has a little, like, like dirt painted on. So he looks, you know, he's like he's been playing. Anyway. So yeah, this box was awesome except for the faulty figure. I'm going to contact them and see... You know, I'll update you at my next unboxing with what happens, but yeah, I don't know. It, it's really disappointing that one of the items is just not good, and it, it actually is probably the biggest item in the box. Like, the figures, I'm sure, are like the most expensive thing in the box. 
So, yeah. I really like it, though. I love the Yankees. All this stuff is awesome. It's all licensed, MLB licensed items. And, you know, to me, it's worth it. I love my Yankees. And I'm sure, you know, if one of the 10 teams they do, if you love them, you know, I think it's worth it for you to get this box. And you get, like, great gear that's licensed. You know, I'm definitely going to wear this to a game. You know, if I want to, you know, have a party, I can hang this banner up. Definitely using that mitten. And, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. Just really upset about the figure being defective. So, yeah, um, like I said, I'll contact them. I'm starting to repeat myself just because I'm so annoyed. <sighs> All right. Woosa. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. You know, did you get this box? Was your figure defective? Did you have any problems with it? Um, let me know. You know, it, I, it, it, it'll be good to know that I'm not alone, maybe. And if I am alone, then hopefully, you know, Loot Crate can fix it. Because Sports Crate is powered by Loot Crate. Same company. They both uh, run the box, those same, these boxes. But, like I said, I'm going to put all the information down below. You can check it out for yourself. Comment, like my video, hit the subscribe if you like what you see. And bye-bye for now.